So in a couple seconds, I want to play you a clip of Republican Senator Roy Blunt acknowledging Donald Trump's awful attack on democracy earlier this week in particular, but basically saying he's going to do absolutely nothing and the Republicans will do absolutely nothing to hold him and those like him accountable. Republican senators have now called for the president to resign. Should he? Well, it would be up to him, but my my view would be what the president should do is now finish the last 10 days uh, of his presidency. No. Uh, No. Your fellow Republicans have been quite critical, uh, including uh, Liz Cheney, including Mitt Romney, who called this an insurrection and said that the president was directly involved. Uh, Justice Department affidavits have individuals saying they came here because the president told him to them to. Is the president a danger to the country? Well, I think the president's uh, decisions and his actions that day and leading up to that day on this topic were clearly reckless. Uh, I said that uh, very early in the evening on Wednesday that this was a tragic day for the the country and the president had some had involvement in that. Are Republican uh, but, leaders going to hold them accountable in any way for it? Well, I think the country is uh, the, the right way to hold presidents accountable. Uh, the, the president should be very careful over the next 10 days uh, that his behavior is what you'd expect from the leader of the greatest country in the world. Now, my personal view is Uh, that the president touched the hot stove on Wednesday and is unlikely to touch it again. Uh, And if that's the case, we we get every day we get closer to the last day of his presidency. We should be thinking more about the first day Mm -hmm. of the next presidency than the last day of his presidency, in my view. And I'll be there on that day as the chairman of that event, seeing the new president sworn in. Uh, the, the President Trump says he's not coming. I hope uh, Vice yep. President Pence does. And I was proud to see the Vice President step up as I was standing there right with him as one of the four members of Congress that count those electoral ballots and do what the law required us to do. Right, but you're fe- and so that's basically that clip. I'm not exaggerating anything there. And when I say it again, I want to chuck something at my computer screen because that is a sitting Republican senator acknowledge that Donald Trump and his cronies attacked democracy, attacked him. He was there, you know, less than a week ago, and he wants to do absolutely nothing to hold Trump accountable for those devastating anti-democratic actions. He doesn't want to do it. He's saying like, oh, I think the voters should hold politicians to account. Well, they did. They defeated Trump handily and Trump got more votes against him than any other presidential candidate in American history. The voters did their job, but the voters don't get to vote every week or every day. At some point when a politician does something evil or awful or corrupt in between elections, their colleagues have to take responsibility. That's the reason the power of impeachment exists. Because the voters can't always decide day to day, month to month, even year to year with the president. He has has a four year term and he's on his way out. So there's nothing to hold him to account, you know, via the ballot box. Only his colleagues can hold him to account. Only the House and Senate can hold him to account. And Republicans will be the chief barrier if it does go to the Senate to hold him to account. And he's absolutely absurd, guys, when he suggests that, oh, you know, Donald Trump learned his lesson. Donald Trump touched the hot stove. He singed his fingers a little bit and he's not going to touch it again. Talking about Donald Trump as if he was a four year old boy reaching for hot cookies and the cookies were too hot and he burnt his little fingies and he's not going to reach for the hot cookies anymore. This was not a child touching a stove. This was the president sicking people on his opponents and 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 likely now because of people like you is going to get away with it he's going to get away with it trump did not learn any lesson here or maybe more accurately trump and all the future trumps because i am not nearly optimistic enough to suggest there will not be trump like candidates and presidents in the future you know they've learned a lesson which is that there's no risk to doing this You know, you do it and succeed. I don't know what Trump's end goal necessarily was, but it was probably achieving some sort of result that made it more likely for him to stay in power. Well, if you succeed, you win. But if you lose, 
your, your colleagues will protect you. And so there's no risk here. There's no risk in effectively plotting a, a soft attack on the Congress as the president. That's what Roy Blunt is saying. And this sort of rhetoric here where he tries to sound tough at the same time, it's absolutely pathetic where he's like, oh, well, he'll have to be very careful over these last 10 days. It's like he already tried to overthrow things, dude. He already tried to take you and Mike Pence and, and Mitch McConnell, not to mention the Democrats. He had to try to take you guys out. They were chanting for some of these people, like the, 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 the crowd that Trump sent over. They were demanding them be sent out. We know what for. We don't have to speculate. We know that. So what do you oh, go? Oh, well, he better not plan a second talk on a democracy in the next nine days or 10 days. Like, that's not a consequence. This idea that like, oh, the Democrats are being mean or they're being partisan or they're trying to tear down unity because they want Trump held to account is, is absurd. I made a video earlier on today where AOC basically called out people like Roy Blunt. These people will never learn. Either he's an absolute rube, he's an absolute fool, and he believes this, in which case he shouldn't be a senator. And I think more likely and worst is he knows that he has the power to hold Donald Trump to account, that he should use that power to hold Donald Trump to account, but that he's afraid of angering the Republican base. He doesn't want to be primaried. He doesn't want to lose their donors, you know, their donor money and all these sorts of things. And so he's basically allow Trump to get away with this awful attack. That's what the Republican Party is signaling. They are signaling, barring a few exceptions here and there, that what Donald Trump did was A-OK. -okay. They should not be allowed to live that down.